All right, Shalom. 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 Now, I want to start off by giving all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashem, Rakhah Kodash, double honor to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone, who are the elders of Yasha Allah, and a sincere salutation to all you Akim, who are preaching this word and believing this word in all truth and in sincerity. And me and the brothers from Tampa, we just go uh, through the spirit, man. We just going to roll in the spirit, man. All right, this is uh, Jeremiah chapter 11, verse I started um I started three and say thou unto well, I started I started at the top. The word that came to Jeremiah from Yahweh saying, Hear ye the words of this covenant, and speak unto the men of Judah and to the inhabitants of Jerusalem, and say unto them, Thus saith Yahweh, by Shim Yahweh Shai of Israel, Cursed be the man that obeyeth not the words of this covenant. Which yeah. I, okay. and that's that's talking about Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, man. You made a covenant with uh, the how about she now was shot, man, in the wilderness, man. Not only that, you said, let uh, the, the blood of the Lord be upon us and our children, man. And the Lord is requiring that which is past, man. And if you're not going to obey the covenant of Yahweh she now was shot, then you're going to be destroyed, man. And that's that's the, the Lord is giving you a warning right now, man, from the prophets, man. The Lord uh, in sundry times spoke by diverse manners unto his people, man. And he's doing the same thing now. He's bringing all the tribes together to speak unto our people the words of prophecy, man. To warn our people that destruction is coming. That if you don't get right, like the brother said, man, the, the curse be you, man. Yep. Be the destruction unto you. I got a quick reset. This is 2nd Ezra chapter 1, verse 32. I sent unto you my servants, the prophets, whom ye have taken and slain and torn their bodies in pieces. Whose blood I will require of your hands, saith the Lord. And that's two, that's you two thirds, man. And now you're doing that spiritually, man. Spiritually, you're trying to slay the prophets, man, through slander, you know, through scoffing, you know, and eventually it's gonna turn in uh, in the carnal, carnal uh lust for blood of the prophets, man. But you how about Shemal Shah is not gonna allow you to have the last laugh in this lifetime, man. I got I got a quick piece of and real quick, um, I wanted to say this a little bit ago when you were speaking. You know, our people weren't listening to the words of the Most High. They said, "Let our blood be upon us and our children." When, when you re when we read, like we were speaking about, uh, well, we brought out Isaiah fourteen twenty one. That was originally talking about the Israelites yeah. prepare slaughter for their children right. for the iniquity of the fathers. Yeah. Right. You know, that was a t that's, that was a scripture against Israel, man. You know, we know now though, though Deuteronomy thirty and seven, but you know that was for our people, right. man, because our people were. If that motherfuckers, man. Well, and it, well, this is fair because it was written in ancient Babylon. Mm -hmm. You know, Isaiah and Jeremiah, they were living in the time of ancient, or leading up to the time of Babylon, you know? Right. Huh. I got this piece of, this is uh, Second Chronicles chapter 36, verse, uh, so I'll start at 15. It says, And Yahweh Bashim Yahushai of their fathers sent to them by his messengers, rising up eight times and sending, because he had compassion on his people and on his dwelling place. And this is a form of, of the Lord's compassion, man. Mm -hmm. Telling you to come back is compassion. The fact that the Lord is saying, look, just come back and try. <laughs> like, I ain't even asking you to do it perfect, man. Just come back and try. Yeah. He, did, he, did, he showed compassion when he didn't destroy the whole nation. And Moses uh -huh. led to him. That was compassion, man. Uh -huh. yeah. He showed compassion. Like the brother said, he showed compassion by giving you this word, man. He made, created the internet so you ain't no excuse to get the word. That's compassion. Not walking an old lady across the street, helping her bag her groceries. That's not compassion, man. Compassion is, is what the Lord got his servants, the prophets out here doing. And that's why guys like Nipsey Hussle and, and his death is a snare unto our nation. Because their idea of what good is and what the Lord actually, uh, uh, what is actually good in the eyes of the Lord are two completely different things, man. Yeah. The Lord requires you to be obedient to his law, statutes, and commandments. Because that's the contract you made, man. Yeah. When uh when Moses sprinkled the blood of, of the yep. goats on on our people, that was written, man. That's uh that's a forever type of thing, man. You can't get rid of that. Yep. And then you know, like the brother was saying about Nipsey Hustle, what people think are good deeds, man, usually end up killing the people more, man. Like he go into the hood and open up a liquor store. What the fuck? That ain't a good act, man. He's trying to kill you quicker, man. Make a come off off of you. You know, or set up some bullshit in the hood. Hey, that, that shit's just destroying the hood, man. Making it worse. That, that, that's not real act, good act. A good and, and first of all, you know, I said, why he calls me good? There's mm. no good except for the father. But look, what people call good acts or good deeds, really that's just you know shit that this society has created. Like walking old lady right. across the street. Man, death to that old lady, man. She should really if, if this was a righteous society, the old lady wouldn't be out here working like that. Right. Man. Right. Here that she bagging groceries and pushing grocery carts around at know. 82 years old. Uh, this is back in Second Chronicles. 36 and 16 but they mocked the messengers of the most high and despised his words 
and misused his prophets until the wrath of Yahweh arose against his people till there was no remedy. You see, people forget about how important the, the prophets are, which the pro the prophets of the Lord are the elect. You know, they consist of the elect, man. And you people, people look, look what the Lord did to, to uh, some t children, man. Children that was mocked one of his prophets, man. Yeah, a sea bear. One, a, a bear came in and tossed them little niggas to and fro, man. It's for, for just mocking him, man, of his bald head. Imagine what the Lord do for slaying his prophets, man. Putting his prophets to death, uh, speaking falsely against him. Bringing railing accusations against him like they did to Yahushai. How they seeked out false uh, witnesses. Man, that's going to happen again, man. And it's, it's happened for hundreds and hundreds of years. And now the Lord's going to require that all that at these people's hands, the two-thirds, the heathens, they all have to pay for putting Israel to, to death. But most importantly, the elect, man. Because some of the Israel put the, uh, the, uh, the Israelites to death, man. Because what they were standing for, which was the, the righteous, the Yahweh Shema Osai's way of living, man. Right. This is uh, 2 Chronicles chapter 15, verse 12. And they enter into a covenant to seek the Lord God, Yahweh Shema Osai, of their fathers, with all their heart and with all their soul, that whosoever would not seek the Lord God of Israel should be put to death, whether small or great, whether man or woman. What was that? Exactly. So that was, this is back in the ancient time. Yeah, they, they said, look, here it is, you got all these men, or you got some you got some men over here seeking the Lord with all their hearts, doing everything they can to serve them, like you see today. And then you got these simple ass Negroes not even caring about what the Lord said, man. Don't give two damn about it. So read that again, Bible Kishon. Gone. Second Chronicles chapter 15, verse 12. And they entered into a covenant to seek the Lord power, Yahweh Bashanel Shai. Of their fathers with all their heart and with all their soul, and that's what we the same covenant we come into, man. That like they, they these men made a covenant. Like, look, we're gonna we're gonna really follow the Lord. Well, that's what the elect did this last lifetime, man. Like we didn't know each other, but we that we had a spiritual covenant with each other, <laughs> making us serve the Lord like this, man. Go ahead. Verse thirteen: That whosoever would not seek Yahweh Shemayim Shai should be put to death, whether small or great. Whether man or woman. And that's what's gonna happen, man. Since these people don't want to seek the Lord, two thirds of our people, they guess what? They're gonna get put to death. Whether small, great, or man or woman. It don't matter if you're 100 or you're three years old, all right? If the Lord got you ordained to get put to death, because ultimately you, you weren't, you'd say, a little baby, that baby was gonna grow up to be a nigga, man. He wasn't gonna seek the Lord. The Lord already knew you, all right? So, it, you know, here it is the men are standing up holy, uh, serving the Lord after, with their whole heart. And if, 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 if whoever don't want to serve us, then death unto them, man. You know? I got one. Uh, this is Job chapter 4, verse 7. Remember, I pray thee, whoever perished being innocent. Okay, whoever perished being innocent, man. You, get, you, you watch an old lady go trampled to death in, uh, on Black Friday. Good for her. She deserved it. She was probably deserved it. She was probably a whore. A little baby gets get, makes it two hours and then dies. Good for it. It was it was it was probably a, a sodomite in his past life. Go ahead. Or where were the prop? Uh, where were the righteous cut off? Yeah, man. So so what? The the, right, the righteous were never cut off. The righteous are still roaming around here, man. Even though they looking like niggas and spicks, Israel was not cut off, man. All right? Because that's what the righteous is. The, the nation of Israel are the true righteous, the saints, and it all begins with the elect, man. All right, the Lord's chosen servants. All right, because uh, like, like Romans, what is it, 11? See, not all Israel is Israel. Oh, no, that's Romans 9. Not all Israel, or is that 11? It's 11. Okay, kind of, yeah. Not all Israel is of Israel, man. You got a lot of, you got a lot of uh, 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 extras in, in the nation of Israel, man. It's the space fillers. Right. Useless people at this point in time. See, that's probably, no, that's it. This is crash. This is uh, Proverbs chapter 1. I'm going to start at verse 22. How long, ye simple ones, will ye love simplicity, and the scorners delight in the scorning, and fools hate knowledge? And that's what two-thirds of our people are, man. They're really fools, man. They say, uh, 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 Peter talked about them being natural proof beasts, man, who understood not, but despised the words of Yahweh by Shemel Shah. This is your solution, man. You don't, you don't even understand it, but you are, you hate it. Yeah. They don't, they don't, they don't, cause that's what it is. They come in, they'll see us from down the road. Look, you, we can't even see what the brothers are talking about. But somebody from this distance will come already hating us, man. Talking shit. Because what? It's, it's not that they see us. It's that, it's that they're the spirit in them. That wicked demonic vibration that's on them and in them doesn't allow them to, to you know, cut. Like, well, spirit was, uh, okay, the brother was reading earlier. Uh, that the Lord put that spirit of, of deep slumber on them, man. The Lord don't want them to repent or convert them, man. He's, he's, 
he wants them to die, man. That's that's a lot. That's a lot of you, uh, you Israelites' judgment, man. To, just to die, born in vanity, man. At least we can say we did something. Whether we be part of the elect or not, we can't say. But at least we say we can say we stood for something. What can you say, man? We we stood boldly for the name of Yahweh Bashim outside, man. And we 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 pray and hope to endure to the end, man. For the works that we're doing. All right. This is Daniel's chapter twelve. Verse 1, and at that time shall Michael stand up, the great prince which standeth for the children of thy people. And there shall be a time of trouble such as never was since there was a nation, even to, the, to that same time. And at that time thy people shall be delivered, every one that shall be found written in the book. And many of them that sleep in the dust of the earth shall awake, some to everlasting life, and some to shame and everlasting contempt. Some to everlasting life. Those are the ones that are written in the book of life. And the other ones to, to, to shame, man, because they're going to win. You, you other Israelites that get put to death on this side during Jacob's trouble and their missiles, all right? You'll be shameful. You're going to be shameful. You're going to know what you did. You're going to know time. that you was mocking the men, the, the really you were mock, mocking the Lord. Man. Yeah, because we're going we're gonna, to we're gonna show you all, all, the, all the lifetimes of, of talking shit you did. Because, you know, they say, if you were a scoffer now, you was a scoffer before, man. Ain't nothing new under the sun. So we're going to have to show, show them all the, the, the highlight reels of, of them being scoffers, man. And that's going to be a heavy pill to swallow when yes. you get in the kingdom and realize that all of this was given unto you. The uh, kingdom, the glory, the promises, the service, like it says in Romans 9. Yeah, yeah. And you rejected yeah. it for, for, for a, a, a good time in Babylon, Yeah, man. so it's a person, uh, hamburger and fries, man, in a, in a butt light. <laughs> You're gonna be hurt, man. And it's gonna it's gonna be your own conscience that's weighing you down because you're gonna remember yourself in Babylon on Snapchat and Instagram, twerking, doing all kind of manners of folly instead of following after righteousness, man. Hey, that's that Hosea 4 and 6. <laughs> what are you gonna say? No, I was just gonna say, um, wisdom, knowledge and wisdom are the superior of the times. They're not gonna have that. Yeah. Well, they hated it. Yeah. They hated the word. They despised knowledge. <laughs> they so rejected it. it. Yeah, so when it comes time, when they see that they're the, the error of their ways, Late. You know, it's gonna, they, they, they're not going to have the comfort of the scriptures. Like, don't let your wit say, sin weigh you down. You know, they're, they're, they're still going to be salvation for those that... They're not going to have none of that. They're just going to be out here like chickens with their heads. I got a precept. This is Hosea 4 and 6. My people are destroyed for lack of knowledge. Because thou hast rejected knowledge, I will also reject thee. And that's what we've been getting, getting into there. All right, two-thirds of Israel here in Babylon, man, have rejected and going to continue to reject the Lord completely until the missions come, man. Right. You know, there ain't going to be no, no, there, there's not going to be salvation for them, man, like, except for death. Yep. That's going to be their salvation, death, man. The one thing that Yahweh Shai conquered, yeah. y'all going to have to, y'all going to be saved through death. Man. You're going to have to live it one more time. Yep. And the Lord, what did the Lord say? You know, the same must know it after death yeah, by the name. Yeah. If you're not going to take heed to the warning, then I'm going to make you feel that fight. Yeah. Just like uh, uh, the covenant the Lord made with us, man. When the Lord said we were going to disobey and, and we would be disobedient, he had all kind of curses. And we ate every last curse down to the last drop, man. Yeah, yeah. Let, me, let me finish this. Okay, let me finish this. Okay. It says, I will, because thou hast rejected knowledge, I will also reject thee. That thou shall be no priest to me seeing thou hast forgotten the law of thy power i will also forget thy children Honestly, you see, that's why jake is in the ghettos man that's why jake is up in these christian churches man that's, that's why most i forgot him man. that's why jake can't two-thirds can't get it because they they the lord rejected them yeah. it's not that they well they did they rejected the lord but it's, it's nothing they can do though the lord rejected you cast you out you and your children yeah. which is you in the reincarnation because fools hate knowledge, man. Exactly. You don't desire the things that are spiritual. Jake, uh, we always say this. Jake liked the microwave dinner instead of the oven one. Yeah, yeah. yeah, Jake liked the quick, the quick uh, gratification, that instant gratification. You'd rather get a Big Mac instead of waiting 30 minutes oh, at a restaurant. Yeah, or, or yeah, making it yourself. Yeah, yeah. Jake can't do all that. Yeah. He ain't got the patience. You'd rather pay twenty dollars for something you could have got. You could have made a whole. You could have made ten of them for twenty dollars. <laughs> and that's spiritual. Because what is Jake is hustling? For uh, for a little piece of, of the the American yeah. dream, and the Slice. Lord got got it that followers, man. Yeah. Prepare for us. You got a city prepared, man. Uh, uh, eyes have not seen, ears have not heard, and Jake gonna have to deal with the fact that he settled. That's why they're gonna wake up to everlasting shame. <laughs> Here it is. We told you, baby. Look, you the greatest people on the earth. We are gonna have things beyond our greatest imaginations, but nah, man, you. You know, I'm timid, or, or you know, Islam, whatever the hell they these niggas worshiping nowadays. That I told you so is gonna be gold, yeah. man. Yep. 
elder, one of the elders did a video titled that earlier, man. It's great. Um, back in this Proverbs, let me get this real quick. Uh, I read 22. This is uh, verse uh, 23. Turn you at my reproof. Behold, I will pour out my spirit onto you. I will make known my words unto you. Go ahead, you got yes. it. Yeah, yeah. The Lord's doing that through his prophets, man. Yeah. He, that, he, he said he going to, uh, what it say to us? It says, I will pour out my pour spirit out. unto you. I will make known my words unto God, you. He's pouring out his spirit unto them by what? His prophets, man. Right, his prophets are receiving this, the words, beginning with the elder posts on down, they're receiving it, all right? And in the instructions at night, right, okay. nobody they put up a lesson, wrote it down, like teachers do at school, curriculum. No, we just come out here and flow to the Spirit, because right. the Spirit is what's pouring out of us, man. That's, hey, that's why you have to follow men. Exactly. Yeah. Follow after and, men. And that's a snare unto... Hey, that's <laughs> another snare. Yeah, bro. hey, like you know? the scriptures say, it is plain unto the holy, but unto the wicked, it's a stumbling block, yeah. man. Hey, that's a that's a beautiful snare because what the Lord does is like he'll let you know that you're an Israelite and then hit you with another snare. Tease you, yeah, he'll tease you. Boom. Oh yeah. Like that, that one guy could commercial that dude. Oh, yo, oh gotta, it. <laughs> you gotta be quicker yeah, than that. Yeah, that's what it is. Yeah, the yeah, Lord man. is playing games with you people, man. Uh, and, and that's a uh, not, uh, 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 and that's a tough pill to swallow because it is a stumbling block. And the Lord's the ultimate stumbling block. Yeah, I wish I was a stumbling block, right, man. Right. But but on righteousness side, you know, you don't want to be a wicked stumbling block. Being, being a stumbling block to the elect, you know, trying to cut, you know, bring up uh, uh, heresies and you know, strife and, and division among brethren. That's 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 being a stumbling block on the left hand side. Right. You know, if you want if you want to be a stumbling block, be a stumbling block unto the wicked. You know, because really that's that's disobedience. When you say, oh, we're not well, the Lord, time and time again, He didn't deal with with Jake face to face. He dealt with Jake through a mediator, through a messenger, we through see the prophets. What, now we see we see what happened with Moses. The niggas, niggas in the the audience will say that the audience nah, why Moses only dealing with him ah, you can just imagine niggas and spicks just raving their on about that and that's all right all right I'll be back and the next thing you know they ah you know at the air because Jake they, they got to learn the hard way man that's how Jake learns the hard way getting smacked over the head with a broomstick and that's what two-thirds are gonna have to go through man learn the hard way because not everybody was saying you know coming up against Yahweh and coming up against Moses you know, there's always been the most I always had is righteous men, all right? It is elect amongst the nation. That's right, so, uh, verse 24. It says, Because I have called and ye refused, I have stretched out my hand and no man regarded, but ye have set at naught all my counsel and would none of my reproof. And this is the Lord's reproof, man. He's giving you the knowledge, wisdom, and understanding, counsel. giving you his, your heritage back, telling you what what's the solution for you to get out of this captivity, man. And Jake rejects that to be black, to be Hispanic, to be Latina, you know, to be Kemet, to be well, West Indian, to be Haitian. All of these cultures that started on oppression, man. And Jake won't take the actual living waters that was given unto him from the foundation, man. What the Lord say, you have, uh, you have uh, brought yourself cisterns that hold no water. None of those philosophies actually hold weight, man. They have no light in them. They're you're playing around, you're playing, uh, you know, you, you're supposed to be in an in, in, uh, in, you know, indoor lit arena, and you're playing in the, in the dark, man. Because that's what these different philosophies are, man. You just dark in gross darkness. Just lost as hell. Don't know where the hell you're going. And then you just let, you just letting the next man lead you, and he don't know where he's going, man. That's why the scriptures say, if the blind lead the blind, they saw both fall in the ditch, man. Go ahead. Uh, this is uh, Jeremiah chapter 2 and verse uh, 13. For my people have committed two evils. They have forsaken me, the fountain of living waters, and hewed them out cisterns, broken cisterns that can hold no water. Hold no water, man. Don't hold no wisdom. They, instead, of, instead of going to, you know, getting it straight from the source, they want to get their own little cisterns, but then these cisterns can't hold no water, man. Instead of coming to the fountain of living waters, they want to just carry the some stagnant water around. They, they, here they see they filling up on the water. Damn, Ten feet away, this nigga got uh, two drops in there, man. Get right. that. That's that's Jake for you though. They because they want to be they want to be indulged in, in folly, you know. Because Jake likes to relax and, and you know have fun, so to say. He likes to enjoy himself. But these niggas take it to the to the utmost extreme, man. They want to enjoy themselves in captivity. When this place was set up to destroy us and not have fun and, and enjoy yourself, man. It was made off of the, our forefathers' sweat. Right. Blood, tears. 
and, and, and that's why the Lord said, come out of her, for this is not your rest. Because Jake, what Jake really be searching for is rest, man. Yeah, exactly. And he just search, he's searching for rest in all the wrong places. Exactly. That's why how shall I say, uh, you know, come uh, rest with us, mm -hmm. you know? Because we rest in the understanding and the mercy of Yahweh by Shemel Shah, knowing how this thing is going to play out, man. That's our rest. That's our comfort. Knowing that our enemies are going to be avenged, mm -hmm. and we're going to be avenged on our enemies, hey. and we're going to be able to, to, to partake, Lord willing, man. He said that, we're, you know, we're, we're resting in with these scriptures, right? But then, doesn't the scriptures tell you that a woman is supposed to be a pillar of rest? Right. Well, this is this is Sophia for us, right? Man. Sophia. Sophia is our pillar of rest, man. This is how we're resting. Scripture said, come, come rest with us. Well, we're, we're, we're at peace, man, so to say. We, we, we you know, not in, in rest in the sense of, you know, this society, but deep, we, we have no cares in this world, man. You know, we could lose our job the next day, whatever. We know the Lord's going to provide for us. And say, uh, let go of the mortal thoughts, yep. man. The Lord is transitioning us from the mortal to the immortal, man. And that starts with this wisdom, and that starts with a mindset first. Yeah, it starts within. And, and but two thirds of our people, they refuse, man. They refuse to uh, cleave unto what's uh, what's healthy for them, and they 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 love this spiritual candy, man, which is Babylon. Man. Yeah, they 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 they're, they reject acknowledging their sin, man. They don't want to acknowledge their sin because they know once they do that, then they're gonna know that there's nothing been doing nothing but wickedness their whole life. Uh, this, uh, this is Proverbs 1 and 25 again. It says that ye have said it, no, all my counsel and with none of my reproof. I also will laugh at your calamity. I will mock when your fear cometh. When your fear cometh as desolation and your destruction cometh as a whirlwind. When distress and anguish cometh upon you. And we, you go, go ahead, brother. Go ahead. And that's what the Lord is getting ready to do. Y'all wanted to mark, mark, uh, mock him. Y'all wanted to uh, mock his prophets. Guess what? When your fear comes, the Lord is going to do the exact same thing to you. He's going to laugh at you like y'all. You laughed at His words, and you laughed at His counsel, man. All right, that's what's getting ready to come to you, people, man. All right, you, you, you two thirds, man. You haters of, of truth, okay? And that's the cold thing about it, because the Lord didn't even allow you to understand it. You despise him. You don't even know what the hell is going on right now. Yeah. And that's <laughs> that's more. Uh, that's a testimony unto your own wickedness and pride, man. Yep. You'd rather be you tried everything else to get get yourself out of this situation of fire rest so to speak and nothing has worked but you refuse to come back to what actually works man mm -hmm. you know right, we're, then we're we're that beacon of light on the hill man mm. and y'all you just refuse to you know you, you two thirds are like vampires man you, you abhor the light this is um verse uh, 28 then shall they call upon me but i will not answer they shall seek me early they shall not find me. That's right. That's why Isaiah 55 and 6 it says, Seek ye the Lord while he may be found, man. So there's going to be a time where you got a lot of people calling on the Lord. Oh, what was that name? Yeah, 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 yeah. And they're not going to be able to say it, man. Or they may, they might be able to say it, but then the Lord's still going to, he's going to tell, uh, depart from you, you workers of iniquity, man. All right? Because the Lord ain't playing them games, man. He tear, the scripture tear, it tells you, Terry, not to come back to the Lord, rough right. paraphrasing. You know, seek the Lord in that youth. You got these niggas playing games, know, know about the truth, been watching videos four years. They coming out, came out of the camp three times, and they just never show back up, man. That Lord gonna kill you and your family, man. Because you, you were the hope for your family, and now all hope has gone out the window. Right. That your wife is somehow watching the videos. And then, then you, you still, if you're putting your trust in your woman, you're gonna get put to death, man. You, you, you better hope she's she part of the, uh, the one third, and she, through her you get saved. But, but if you come out to the highways and byways and stop coming out, it's not looking good for you or your family. Verse 29, for they that hated knowledge and did not choose to fear the Lord. You see, because you, you, you hate not you, you never come back out. Uh, it don't matter if you've been out one time, three times. All right, if you don't, if you, you hate knowledge, you stop coming out, man. Because you don't fear the Lord. You don't fear the Lord, so you, you feel the need that you don't need to come out. Oh, I just sit behind the keyboard, do some videos here and there. But you know, I ain't really with all that standing out there for, for a couple hours at a time, every time, every Saturday. They gotta they do this, gotta travel. Man, everybody, the, man, the pups have been doing it for decades, before, right. probably before you were even born. But you can't come out here one day of the week. And we're not telling you that everybody's a prophet, but you gotta, if you plan to be receive salvation, you best to find your lot and, and, and realize it, not find your lot, because you can't pick, that's another thing, you won't pick your lot, but you need to find out what your lot is and do it. If you will help, be a help. All right. If you whatever the case may be, if you are uh, 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 you good with the herbs and you don't, but you don't, you know, spare, you don't feel like you can be out here. Well, then help the brothers out with herbs. Do something, man. Sitting at home and con 
doesn't consist of uh, being a help, man. Giving a thumbs up doesn't help nobody, man. Not even yourself. See, they would none of my counsel to despise all my reproof. Therefore, shall they eat of the fruit of their own way and be filled with their own devices. Yeah, well, especially these two, that's mainly for the two thirds, man. All right, because y'all want to come up with all these niggerish shit. But well, Lord, you know, you, you might you might meet a, the, 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 the head honcho on your block for, for hitting licks. Or well, the Lord might put you to death in that same way, man. Right. Somebody might hit a lick on you and just kill you. Or you go hit on lick on somebody and the Lord, he have them kill you, man. Right. Either way, man, the Lord is, is going to, um, that's a spirit, if I had that here somewhere. Okay, real quick, let me back up on that. This is Isaiah 66 and 4. I, I also will do... Yeah, I also will choose their delusions, and or, or the other word there is devices, like the brother just said, and will bring their fears upon them. Because when I called, none did answer. When I spake, they did not hear, but they did evil before mine eyes and cho and chose that end, so like, and chose that end which I delight not. And that's Jake, man. And Jake, uh, Jake. <laughs> Jake really don't fear the Lord, man. And, it, and like the scripture says, it's a fearful thing to fall into the hands of the living power, man. But then, they, then again, the scripture said that they don't fear him. <laughs> so that's why they, they don't care if they fall into the hands of the <laughs> Lord, man. They don't, they don't even, they, that's not even a thought in their head, man. You know, you know, because at least I speak, I can speak for myself. And I know these brothers, when you were before the truth coming up, you know, and, and before you found out about the truth, you know, coming up as in age and whatnot, you would go to do something bad and you knew your mind was telling you, man, don't do it. But these niggas, there, there is no little, you know how they in the cartoon, they got yeah. the angel and the demon. There is, it's just a demon on both shoulders for them, man. Just do it, do it, do it. What's that? Uh, doing donuts in the rental, man. <laughs> Jake out here doing donuts in the rental. Don't even realize you got to pay for this shit, yep. man. Like, you out here doing donuts, you out here showing off. And Do some drops. Burn, yeah, yeah, burning and rubber. Smoking when he bring it back. <laughs> Burning rubber, you just think you about to just turn this head and walk off in the sunset? It's like, nah, uh, man. Fucking engine ticket. Yeah, yeah. Fucking thing. It says, uh, verse 31 again. It says, Therefore shall they eat of the fruit of their own way and be filled with their own devices. For the turning away of the simple shall slay them. And that's the spirit because when you first come to the truth, you have a, a level of compassion for your people. Yeah. But as you as you wax stronger in the truth, you realize, man, these, these niggas gotta go, man. <laughs> Fuck these niggas. Because they refuse to come back, bro. They they refuse and they're not meat for uh for rehabilitation. Yeah, man. they're not meat for meat, not fruit, meat for repentance. Right. Man. That's God, that rotten God. fruit, man. You just gotta throw that shit away, man. Yeah, you know, you don't put a rotten apple in the basket with the with the good apples, man. You throw that shit away, man. Give it to give it to the to the Shit, most animals won't even eat it. Let that shit be devoured by the gnats and shit, worms, the maggots. That's why this is a more excellent exodus, man. Because on this exodus, yeah. niggas, uh, two thirds ain't coming, man. Yeah. On this exodus, they gotta come back through nut sacks, man. Yeah, that's how yeah. that's how precious this exodus gonna be. So, well, don't you want to be part of that number, or do you want to just be left with with Pharaoh and his his host, man? Cause you're not just gonna get left. You're gonna you're gonna experience what death by pain. Yeah, exactly. So it's not like you just Agonize. gonna get left. Like I just ain't I ain't gonna make it through the first. Nah, bro, you gotta go through death by pain. Previous death gotta be. It ain't gonna be. It ain't gonna be easy. You're gonna death, and you're gonna be having an epiphany at the same time. Man. You're gonna be feeling all this pain. Time's gonna be slowed down for you. Cause you're gonna suffer. The Most High is gonna make you suffer. And you're gonna be shown all the reasons why you getting jacked up right at that moment, man. No, that's the script, uh, Isaiah 66 and 4. He's gonna bring you all your delusions, the greatest fears of your life. Whatever you fear is what's gonna come upon you, man. That's gonna ter terrorize you, man. You're gonna be terrorized just like in the time of Egypt. These plagues, they they could they were it was pitch dark, they couldn't even see their hand. They could feel the darkness. They were hearing shit that wasn't there, rushing waters. Um, wild beasts imagine you, you the, the, the light just goes out man every you know the look because the lord could do it he can hold the sun and it, it just be night time for three days yeah. all right or he can just hold the sun and have a day for three days but look what happens when you're in pitch darkness and you just hear and shit you people are gonna bug out man you're gonna be in the fetal position not knowing what to do what hey if that happens to a man of the lord he's either gonna sit there and, and praise the lord or he's just gonna keep moving and the lord gonna guide him to somewhere man safe and sound I got one. This is a Wisdom of Solomon, chapter 12, verse 17. For when men will not believe that thou art of a full power, thou showest thy strength. Yeah, so when men don't believe, <laughs> then the Lord shows his strength. Well, guess what? The Lord hasn't showed his strength in, in decades. I say it's a, a millennium, two millenniums, man. Really show his, I say more than that, man. Because he really, when you have a was on the scene, he really didn't show his power like that, man. 
He hey. showed a couple, his son did some miracles, apostles did miracles. When Yahweh was called up, you know, all that. But but I'm, we're talking about Exodus, man. We're talking about the, a great flood. Wait till the Lord shows his power, man. He's he's been saving the best for last for a reason, man. Because he's gonna do, he's gonna go all out. The whole earth is gonna know who Yahweh is after this, man. And that's the spirit because uh, the Lord said he's going to, uh, when you don't believe he's over full strength, he's going to show you that he's full power. Mm -hmm. Hey, the Lord is about to flex on Jake, man. Yep. Jake is about to get flexed on in a major way, man. Because if you don't believe that the Lord is full strength, all right, he going to, that's why the whole planet's got a taste of his judgment. The Lord said the, uh, the lofty eyes of uh, looks of man shall be humbled in that day. Because the pride of man has reached an all-time high because they've had liberty. Yeah, especially in America. Well, that, that's why uh, 2 Ezra chapter 8, verse 50, it says, Many great misery shall come upon them that dwell in the earth yeah, in the latter days yeah. because they have walked in great pride. Yeah. And right. they do, right? You got a brother. I was just going to say that. This, this, that's ultimately, at the end of the day, that's what it is for these, these jakes. It's, they, their pride is not going to let them follow after the Lord, somebody that they don't see. Well, shit, yeah, we've seen that, you know, it's not, not that particular, but we seen the pride of Jake earlier, man. Yeah, right. Fucking pride, pride demons, prideful demons on him, man. For nothing, proud for nothing. Cause these Esau got a reason to be proud, you know. But these that these damn nincompoop simpletons, you know, right? This is uh, Isaiah two and eleven. The lofty looks of man shall be humbled. Mm. And the haughtiness of men shall be bowed down. And when you go into lofty and uh, and haughty, that's pride, man. Right. It's gonna be humble in that day because these people smile. They think everything's a joke. Yep. They look at Jake like a joke. Yep. But the, the the catch twenty two is that the Lord's gonna come back and they're gonna be crying and running for their life. And the men and the uh, the men that they despise of the nation that they despise is gonna be laughing. Why they going? <laughs> why they running for their life and getting put to death, man? Yep. My servant, you shall. That's Isaiah you shall sixty-five. Let me finish this. You got you still finish? I got some more on this. Okay, come on. Yeah, this is uh back in Isaiah 2 and 11. And Yahweh alone shall be exalted in that day, for the day of Yahweh of hosts shall be upon everyone that is proud and lofty, and upon everyone that is lifted up, and he shall be brought low. Yeah, and those who have ears to hear and eyes to see, you know, we, we know that the day of the Lord is slowly approaching, and it's not a beautiful and, and happy colorful day man it's, it's a day of, of darkness man all right most five you know woe well, to you that desire the day of the lord well, what in is it unto you man you people don't know what the, the, the day of the lord consists of because if you did you would stop going to church you put your bibles down because you know that you're going to be destroyed you know because once they start figuring that's why people scoff at us once they hear the word they're just shit you know what if they're, what they're, if they're saying what they're saying if it's true i'm fucked <laughs> That's why they really they, so they, they you know their natural reaction is to to, to laugh it off and, and to scoff. Yeah. And that's the spirit too, man, because uh like you said in uh, Amos 5, to what end is it for you? Because like when uh, when when I go, if, if you working, you go to your boss expecting a paycheck because what? You be at work. Busting your ass all week. Yeah. 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 If the day of the Lord is payday, <laughs> yeah. and right for the righteous, it's what do you pay. expect? You ain't pay. been doing nothing. You know, you've been giving your little... Uh, you get fired. Right. You get fired at the you end of the week. that that, uh, that, uh, that, uh, that peak slip. Yeah, yeah. You've been found sleeping in the back corner yeah. of the warehouse and shit. Right. Yeah. They, they, they came to do a, 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 um, a, te a, a, a test on everybody and you're unsatisfactory, man. Yeah. Your shit came. You, you know, when you think you, about it, our captivity is the Lord writing us up. Yep. Yeah. Now that judgment, that's the peak slip, What man. you gonna do during that detention? Right. You gonna fuck around, you gonna do the work you're supposed to do. Now the teacher come back in the class and you your paper's empty. You ain't even put your name on it. What do you think is gonna happen, man? You get that ultimate punishment. Uh, Proverbs one and thirty two it says, "For the turning away of the simple shall slay them, and the prosperity of fools shall destroy them. But whoso hearkeneth unto me shall dwell safely and shall be quiet from fear of evil." And that's the snare unto two thirds of our people, man, because they they don't understand that you don't you're not even in a position to negotiate. You can look at the prophets and say, "Look, that just ain't for me." Well, then that means death is your alternative. You're not really in a place where you got a loophole, bro. It's yeah. like you either gonna get with the Lord's message or you gonna get put to death. Man. There's only two paths down. There's, there's, there's only not, two paths. They, 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 they would not have uh, me reign over them, bring them hither and slay them before. Hey, yeah. I wish I said that. The straight and narrow yeah, path. Exactly, yeah. You be that find it, but wide is the uh, is the uh, path that be, that, that does what lead it to destruction. So you either gonna follow the straight path or you going straight to destruction. There's no in between, no shortcuts. Look, you either go this way, one by one, 
or you can just go this way and you just like, bum rush it like everybody else. And when that goes into that Faribu Yahweh shot game, the thing will come is not to, to, to the door. Yeah, to the door. It's yeah, coming through some, of some other way. Yeah, yeah. The same as a robber and a thief. Mm -hmm. You know? That's why the Lord got a. The Lord is going to do two thirds of our people mercy, and that and that mercy is through death by pain. Bro. You're going to learn your lesson through death by pain because you are not me. You're not doing your job, man. Every like like everything on the planet has a purpose. Jake has a purpose of, of being in rulership as joint heirs with Yahweh Shah. The entire nation, the Lord didn't only want a few good men. The Lord didn't only uh, want a few good men. The Lord required the entire nation to be in righteousness, man. That's why the scriptures say many are called, few are chosen. Really, the whole nation is called to serve the Lord. Right. But only so a few are gonna. Men. Only a few are chosen. That's the spirit, man. Hey, because everybody can't be winners, man. You gotta have losers I'm to be winner. winners. You see, and, and you know the ultimate. Yeah. The old, it, really, the, the, the word loser goes back to destroyer, which you know Esau Edom's the, the master loser. But you know, for, well, like I was saying before, I was rudely interrupted. You know, the, you, you gotta have, uh, you gotta have the, 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 like uh, Mayweather, like so you gotta have the B card. And, and I just happen to be the A card. <laughs> hey, you always gotta have the, the underdog and, and the, and the uh, what's the other one? Underdog and the. Who, who everybody putting their bets on, man? You got And guess what? The Lord put all his bets on his leg because he wrote this story from the foundations. He said, "Look, they're gonna do this. They're gonna do that. They're gonna be humiliated. They're gonna be uh, 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 spoken evil of. All these, all this, all the things that the Lord said was gonna happen, which we've seen happen to his his son. So we we expect the same thing. So we can be rewarded with him. All right. Matter of fact, let me get that real quick. Because these 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 niggas in speak, they ain't gonna be rewarded because they're not." Going through what our Lord has been through, man. Um, going to Romans 8. Uh, no, I'm going to Romans 8 and uh, 16. Or not 16. Um, I got it right here. This is Romans 8 and I uh, start at 17. And if children, I start at 16. The Spirit itself bear witness with our spirit that we are the children of the Most High. And it's evident that the Spirit is bearing witness with us, man. Hey, who else is out here doing this, man? No, you ain't got no goop Israelite camps. Or, or, or some Hamite Israelite camps. Or Ishmael. Yeah, we're talking about here the Israelites. Hell, Esau don't even do that. He just claims to be Jewish, but he ain't out here like we are. So that's the spirit bearing witness, right? Verse, verse 17. And if children, then heirs, heirs of the Most High, and joint heirs with Hamashiach. If so be that we suffer with him, that we may be also glorified together. Got it. And if you're not willing to suffer, if you're not willing to starve with us, you're not you're not gonna eat with us, man. You know, uh, you Jake said that in the yeah, Jake said in the world, man. I'm gonna eat with who I starve with, man. And how Shah's doing the same thing. He's having his men go through the same thing in smaller portions. Hey, what Jake said when he get Jake get locked up, he get out. What he said, if everybody he might come up on a come up. He went, where was you when I was locked up? <laughs> right. Where was you? And I say, Jake starts that. That's gonna be us when we get no reward. You know, people are gonna be trying to seek us. I mean, they were, you know, it's gonna be going in. It's gonna be too late. The Lord gonna put His anger on us, and hey, you might, you might be liable to get a, a hole kicked through you, man. Okay. Uh, let me finish verse eighteen. For I reckon that the suffering of this present time are not worthy to be compared with the glory which shall be revealed in us. So the glory, the kingdom of heaven begins within us. So, so why wouldn't you want to forsake all this carnal shit that's gonna be destroyed? All right, the things that the Lord got prepared for us is, it begins within us, man. All right, the, the Lord said we're gonna be joint heirs. Guess what? Yahweh said uh, that He's not gonna meet these people as men. According to First Corinthians 15, we're gonna be changed. The first, I think it's the uh, John chapter three says, it "Yet it, it does not yet appear what we shall be, because what we're gonna be changed like Yahweh said. We're joint heirs with Him. You don't want that, but it got it starts with, it, with with changing yourself internally first, man. Examining yourself." Right, uh, 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 rebuking yourself, man. You got to be your, your biggest critique. Because if not, then you, you ain't going to accept nothing nobody tells you, man. Go ahead. This is a second entry, chapter 2, and verse 27. Be not weary, for when the day of trouble and heaviness cometh, others shall weep and be sorrowful, but thou shalt be merry and have abundance. And that's why brothers ain't supposed to, you know, uh, be weary and well doing, man. You know, the Lord giving us the spirit, uh, the spirit to keep going and to keep moving. You know, but two thirds of our people who reject this message and reject their office, because ultimately this is their office, this is their service on the planet. The Lord is going to have them in weeping and gnashing the teeth, man. The Lord going to put them to death in a cold way, man. 
And uh, in, on verse 28, the heathen shall envy thee, but they shall be able to do nothing against thee, Amen. save the Lord. In these coming times, when we out here eating good, I am, everybody else crying and, and, and seeking death, and brothers got a couple of y'all just watching you get your, the, the, the tires beat off of you from around the corner. Guess what? You're gonna be jealous, and you ain't gonna be able to do a damn thing about it. We're gonna laugh in your face as you slowly give up the ghost, and you ain't gonna do nothing about it. People ain't gonna be able to do a damn thing against the unless the Lord sanction it. You know, you might be a martyr, martyr. You know, you get put to death for the truth. But you know what? We've already gone through that, man. The Lord already. Hey, all the, the apostles got put to death back in the day. Why would the Lord allow them to get put back to death? Those were the head men doing the most for the ministry, right? You, you know think they're going to die again? Them court side seats are expensive, man. Yeah, exactly. You know, when you talk, talk, talk about, about Lakers, Lakers floor seats, drinking and, and enjoying the game, this is spiritual. Yeah. You know, the Lord is, is, is you know, giving us court side seats to his judgment. Right now, we're witnesses unto it. Like when the Lord do a judgment and, and it make the news. Oh, did y'all go to see how the Lord did? Oh, man, bro, like, how about you not shout the Lord sick with it? You saw this article out? 300 people died. 1,000 <laughs> oh. people died. Oh, and the Lord is going to do that with two-thirds of y'all, of Negroes, like tells the Native Americans, and the one-third that the Lord brought through the fire, they're going to have court side seats to watch judgment uh, yeah. take place, man. And judgment on our enemies, man. Come on, man. Anybody that came up against us, man, that fought against Jerusalem, like Ezekiel 9 says, you fight against us, man, you're not, we could care less. Right. We're going to go home and get a good night's sleep. But what, you fighting against the Heavenly Father and His Son, man. Uh, Isaiah chapter 6 and 5 verse 11 but ye are they that forsook Yahweh that forgot my holy mountain that prepared a table for that troop and that furnished a drink offering unto that number therefore will I number you to the sword and ye shall all bow down to the slaughter because when I called you did not answer when I spake you did not hear but did evil before mine eyes and did choose that wherein I delighted not that's right, man. Yeah, 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 man. That's all these people that they, they want to choose the things that piss the Lord off. So what? He numbering his people to the sword. All right. The Heavenly Father got a, a great vengeance coming to America. And a lot right. of you, well, I, I quote myself, all, all of you people are going to get burned up by nuclear missiles, man. Right. All right. Because the Lord, he, 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 he's sick and tired of all these abominations in America. All right. And these proud ass people deserve it, man. Yeah. What is your life anyway? Yeah. Your vain ass life. What do you do? You watch reality TV. Yeah. You eat chips, you eat, yeah, you eat horrible diets. You have no purpose on the planet anyway. The Lord should just put you to death. Yeah, waste of space, man. You're a waste of space, man. A waste, a, a useless eater. Right. It's the elites call you. The, Lord, the whole world is being defiled and destroyed and me, you are just having a good ass time, yeah, man. You don't have working six days a week to come blow your money on Saturday. You got everything to say about the prophet, but you got nothing to say about all the wickedness that's going on on the planet Earth, man. The people, the Lord's gonna get rid of you. And everybody's the biggest critiques and, and the biggest uh, uh, news sportscasters when it comes up to the truth. When it comes to truth, but well, here it is, your boss tell you to go do something that you don't agree with. You ain't gonna say a damn thing, man. That's right. why you people are a bunch of proud, full of shit turds, man. A bunch of useless, yeah, a bunch of hypocrites, man. That's because, hey, hey, nobody, hey, nobody, hey, nobody likes a, a clown, man, that's full of shit, a hypocrite. And that's what the two thirds of these our people are, and the a hundred percent of these heathens are, man. This is John chapter 3 verse 19 And this is the condemnation That light is coming to the world See this is the condemnation That light, what's light? The, the men on the highways and byways pushing out his truth man That's the condemnation This is why the world is con condemned man Because right. beginning with Yahushai He brought the light on the world man Now the, the condemnation of this place is here man And it's been here And it ain't going nowhere till, the, till they get beamed up So it'll all be fulfilled Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. That light is coming to the world and men love darkness men, rather than light. Men love darkness rather than light. That's why they hate us. They don't want us, you know, really hear us out. Because of what? They're part of the they're not they're they're of this world. They're, they're they love darkness. Bunch of chupacabras, man. Blood sucking demons. <laughs> That's what these people are, man. Yeah. Okay, finish that up. Meat for the fire. Yeah. Man. Uh verse uh 19, John 3 and 19. And this is the condemnation that light is coming to the world and men love darkness rather than light because their deeds were evil. See, because their deeds are evil. So, so like, what's like? Like we said earlier, 
when they hear us talking about these things that they should and shouldn't do, then they get cut and they know that their deeds are evil. That's why they would rather stay in the darkness. Because the light, you know, it's like a roach. Right, You right. put the light on a roach and it goes scrambling away. And that's what, we are, we are the light and we're on top of a hill letting it shine and these people are getting it uh, 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 exposed, man. And that's why East, that's why Esau's more threatened by the brothers with uh, scriptures than he is about these, uh, these far right militias in yeah, the yeah. woods that are preparing to go up against the government. He's more threatened by this because this is what? This is light it's in a dark place, yep. man. The truth is, is, is a dangerous thing, man. <laughs> hey, that's why America's called the Valley of Dry Bones, man. The, the valley is the lowest point, and the mm. valley gets the least amount of light, man, in yeah, the mountains, yeah. man. You know, because uh, you, you got all the high mountains surrounding that valley, so not that much light gets in there, man. Yeah, what is it? The valley of what? Shadow Until of the death. sun rises. Shadow of death, man, because who, who's death? Eats off the death, man. This is why this is the valley of the shadow of death, man. The low place where the shadow of death, which is Esau, uh, com uh, com yeah, encompasses, man. Death, what was that? That, that Revelation 6, that black horse? What was his name? Death, man. <laughs> <laughs> and that's, or was it Pell Horse? Pell, Pell Horse. horse. name was Death, and that's Esau for you, man. All these things that's about to happen, <laughs> you're going to see who the devil is real soon. Right. For you for you, Uncle Toms, or you, you Theo Tomases and the Uncle Tomahawks out there, man. You're going to see that the enemy was right in front of you the whole time with a big fat grin on his face all right he got got eggs in one hand and a knife in the other yeah he, he eat these gmo eggs right and because he put a suit on and smile at you you accept anything that he gives you yeah he, he got fair speech he's an eloquent speaker he's a rich man like what does the script say when a rich man uh speaking everybody holds their tongue and our people do what? They trust in oppression. Yep. And that's what, it, you know, that's why the Lord said, you have covered with a, a spirit, but not of my spirit, man. Right? You covering, you trusting yourself in, in, uh, in Esau's system. You know, you feel some type of way about Esau, but really at this point, Jake is just a homeborn slave. Jake, yeah, don't, yeah. Jake don't have, don't feel no type of way about the so-called white man and what he's done to our people, Yeah, because right? hey, it's what they worship the beast ultimately. Right. They worship the beast in his image, which is the, the way of life here, man. The, the, the democracy, the philosophies. That's why ultimately they're gonna take the, the, the mark of the beast, man. Because what they like, when I said Stockholm syndrome, they love their oppressor, man. They worship the beast, and they love it. They don't. You try to tell a nigga to come up out of this place, man. You might have to fight him. Like that movie, uh, uh they live, where uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Dusty Rhodes or what's his name? You try to fight. The, Roddy Piper had Roddy a fight. Piper had yeah, to fight that nigga to get yeah, him to beat the brakes off of him. <laughs> he had to force him to see this shit, man. But hey, we not doing like if I say we not bending backwards for no nigga, man. You either get it or you don't. We're not finna put the mitts on, to, and then maybe you might see it. Yeah, because the Lord gonna put the mitts on. Yeah, the Lord. Hey, we the let Lord the Lord do the play, <laughs> man. The Lord gonna hit you with combinations, man. Yeah, he gonna do a Deontay Wilder on you. Right. Like the real bomber yeah. gonna come through, yeah. man. The real, the, the real, and then the steel bomber. Yeah. All right, the, the glittering sword bomber. Yeah. And, and it's the spirit because what is the Lord telling my people to do? Just get out the way, man. I got a problem with the people behind y'all. The ones who did this to y'all, but y'all in the way, man. Go hand on the hand. Right. The wicked shall not go and punish. And everyone that is joined unto them shall be what? They shall be thrust through, man, because you in the way. Go get that sword put right through you, man. You trying to body seal the, the enemy. Right. You, you a goddamn fool, no? No, you, don't you know that this man's going to go in into, ever, uh, into, uh, into perdition, man? And he's going to be, he's that son of perdition. He's going to be destroyed. And, you, and that's and that's gonna be further condemnation in the kingdom because you got to deal with the fact that not only did you go off, but you followed the basis of men. Man. You tried to be like the, the lowest of the lowest class of men. Oh, that's gonna hurt, hurt, man. That's gonna hurt. <laughs> that's gonna hurt, man. It's just the man, and you wanted to be like him, man. That's why the Lord told us, "Envy not thy oppressor, man, and choose none of his ways, man." trying to be like the uh, so-called white man and he's going off into perdition he's going to be destroyed you know and, and jake and jake cleave unto the, those ways and he don't prosper and at, at best you get a couple crumbs off of esau's table but you don't get your own plate you don't get your own table that's why jake lost man jake gotta go man. yeah yeah whatever you got then let me finish this in isaiah then it's isaiah chapter 65 Verse 13 now. It says, Therefore, thus said Yahweh, power, behold, my servants shall eat, but ye shall be hungry. Behold, 
My servant shall drink, but ye shall be thirsty. Behold, my servant shall rejoice, but ye shall be ashamed. See, and this is, this is during the time of ancient Babylon. Jeremiah, the Lord was saying, look, the Babylonians, they come in here, they're going to do their thing. He's going to be in prison. Oh, so like Isaiah, okay, never mind. Same same time period, but the same time period, but look, he, he said, look, he, he, Israel's going to go through all this. They're going to mock you. But when that time, when the Babylonians come, you're going to be eating, you're going to be drinking. And this is the same thing that's going to happen again with the, with the men of the Lord, the, the, the prophets again. Because uh, even with Jeremiah, the same thing happened with him. Well, um, the, the Lord had the Babylonians show Jeremiah favor, man. They said, okay, ain't this Jeremiah right here? The, the one that, that prophesied of us coming out here, you know, rough paraphrase. They, they, they let him go, man. And that's how, it, 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 like Brother Red earlier, the heathen ain't going to be able to do nothing against us, man. Because the Lord got a hedge around us. The Lord is, is, uh, uh, is, is got a standard around us, man. But we are the standard. Even as we speak, man, the Lord got angels encompassed uh, about the brothers that feel the most hot, man. That means it's a lot of angels in the midst of this place right now, man. Yeah. And they ain't even know it. These people don't even know it. There's, 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 there's all kind of angels out here today, man. With swords in their hands, ready to slay somebody that want to run their mouth a little too much. Just like Toby, man. You didn't know that that was uh, Raphael? Or, that was, uh, that was uh, I think it was uh, Gabriel. Yeah, no, I don't think it was Gabriel. Yeah. Uh, Tobias. Right? Oh, it was. What name was Raphael? Oh, Raphael. Yeah, it was Raphael. Yeah, yeah. Of the Lord, oh, yeah. You didn't know that that was one of those. was a man in his eyes. He's yeah. looking at a man. You know? And that's that's how these people look at that brothers, man. Right? Because, you know, the nation of Israel are, are angels of the Lord. Yeah, we're, we're, the, we're the fallen that's angels. angels. Right. That's what definitely. Because <laughs> the angels need to right. Where the angels lie in the chains of darkness, man. Yep. You know, but what? The Lord's going to remove those those those, um, those shackles away from us, man. And then what? We're going to be, we're going to, hey, because we're going to, really, we're above angels. We're above those angels, man. But the, the, right now, the Lord got us in a lower state. But it tells you we're going to be able to uh, judge angels. The, the, the angels are jealous of us. We get to come down here and do the fleshly things. They don't. They don't eat. They don't drink. They don't have sex. They might come in a, in, in, in a form of a, of a body, a human body, but they still won't eat. They might fool you, make you think they ate, but they, they, they was over there just sitting the whole time. That's the spirit. That's the spirit because, man, that's the spirit, man. The brothers, brothers are angels in the flesh. In the flesh. And, and we're going through a harder battle than the angels in heaven. Right? I, I got we're it. actually angels trying to battle exactly. the flesh. Yeah, exactly. And the, the angels, the, the, the angels that are in the, in, the, in the spiritual realm, they're perfect. They don't, have they don't to go, go off. <laughs> they, they do whatever the Lord commands them to do. That's what they're doing. Whether it's on the right hand or the left hand side. We, however, are in the flesh. The change, which is the change of darkness. That's why we're going to be changed from mortal to immortal, corrupt to incorrupt. That's we why uh, Edgar said. Uh, uh, I, could, I greatly commended them that stood so stiff in Because damn, angels in, in human bodies, and it's like when us, it's like, hold on, there's this single guy. A perfect example is Superman. What happened with Superman? He got, he got cast down to earth. He didn't know, he got, he didn't know he was power, all powerful until his father, which was the guy that found him. So look, you came from a spaceship, you're, you're, you're from another planet. That's when he started figuring out who he really was. Even though he, he saw little things here and there, how he was stronger. But, and then ultimately he figured out he was, he was, he was, he was, uh, uh, was all-powerful. That's his name, Call L. But, and then another one is Thor. What did happen in the first movie of Thor? His, his father took the hammer from him, casted it onto Earth, and took his power from him until he was worthy enough to pick it up again. Hey, that's, the that, that's, the, that's the story of Yahushua and the elect, man. Because uh -huh. Yahushua was cast down here with us. He was in the flesh. How many lifetimes did he come here in the flesh? And then the last time around, he was perfect. Now, this is uh, Jude, verse 6. And the angels which kept not their first estate, but left their own habitation, he hath Preserved in everlasting chains under darkness unto the judgment of the great day. So obviously, when they say everlasting, it's not everlasting because it says unto the judgment of that great day. Right, right, right. Everlasting means just the time period. Unto that great day, what's that great day? The day of the Lord. Because that's when the men of the Lord is going to receive powers just like the house side. We're going to be worthy again to pick up that war hammer. All right, like Thor did. He had to just roam around like a like a, a feeble human. Until he was worthy to pick up that hammer again and he was all powerful again. And that's how we're going to be trained. 
But these two thirds, however, they're gonna die. And they're not gonna be on our level when they return either. Yeah, because the Lord's gonna turn these fishes into hunters, right? Exactly. And when hunting season uh, is commences, two thirds gonna get caught in that mix. When, when brothers become lions, uh, the remnant of Jacob shall be a lion amongst the sheep. It's gonna be no, it ain't gonna be no talk. There ain't no negotiating when you how about you now a shot once the judgment pours out. Yeah. You didn't want to reason with us before. Ain't no reason in there. there. Ain't nothing to talk about. Yeah. Back to the spirit world you go until yep. further notice. See ya. Yeah. So with that, we want to give all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashem, Rechah Kodash, double honor to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone, while the elders of Yahshua Allah, and a sincere salutation to all you Aki, who are preaching this word and believing this word, and all truth in this sincerity. All right, brother, Shalom. Shalom.